What's up, guys? It's your boy, Chance. Um, I actually have something that I would like to speak to you guys about. Um, I know I say that all the time, but I don't know how else to do a formal introduction except what's up and all that stuff. But as you guys may have noticed, oh, good hot ass coffee, man. Ain't nothing better in the middle of this kind of a day where it's nasty out. But. You guys may have noticed over the last few days that I've been taking a lot of pictures. And there's actually a reason for that. It's because, um, as you guys know, I may very well end up retiring from music due to medical issues. So, I've been thinking about it, and if it does come to me retiring, I do want to do photography as a career and you guys are probably thinking well why would you want to do that you know like you get the music well yeah i was it was music but with things being the way they are i like i said i may very well and most likely will not be doing music for very much longer given the circumstances and what's going on with me medically so, the reason why I chose photography as a secondary career in case things went south with only John Boyd, only they have. Um, the reason for me choosing photography is because not only have I always been a very good natural with it, and people have told me, you know, that I'm a natural with it. <clears throat> but for me, taking photos and taking pictures of things like what I take pictures of, I feel like that's preserving a moment in time. Like, I feel like, you know, I'm telling a story about that item. Like, when I take a picture of, like, a flower or... And, you know, a statue or a pottery piece. I'm telling the story of that item. And honestly, for me, photos of what you do speak louder than music. Yes, don't get me wrong. There's been many, 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 <clears throat> many songs that I've written over the years. Uh, I've written many songs and I've heard a lot of songs that have spoken to me. You know, like with NK-47's song, um, it's called A Story of Mine. And you guys have no idea how first, how very, very very personal that song is to me like that's that song is it's literally talking about how i was born how i grew up what i went through how i never knew my real father and you know it that song is literally the soundtrack of my life that song is the soundtrack to my life. So that song speaks to me more than any other song in this whole world. Because it tells the story of me, how I grew up, how I was born, what I went through. That song is the most personal song ever in my whole life. Like, that song embodies me to the core. Like, it is me. That song is literally me. But, like I said, the reason why I am taking out photography as a secondary career 
not only do I get a break from, you know, the whole spotlight thing and all that, but, like, you know, I can take photos and do something else I'm good at, but one reason why I do love doing photography so so much is because I can tell a story about whatever I'm taking a picture of and make you guys see that story through my perspective. I can take the most ugliest thing and turn it into something beautiful and make you guys see the beauty in that. And I can change your perspective of it just with that one picture. And that's what I love about photography. You can take something that is so disgustingly ugly and turn it into something beautiful and make people see it that way through your eyes. For me, photography is like capturing a moment in time. You're telling a story. You're doing something to show, hey, I was here. This is me. And we all have a story to tell. And for me, it's through my photography. It's through what I do. Like, and that's one, that's the beauty of it. Like, no picture is the exact same. Like, yeah, I can go out and write a full-on album, but to the world, it'll sound just like every other album. But when I take a picture... My picture is different from the rest of the world. There's no other picture like it out there. Because I'm making you see the world through my eyes. I'm making you see what I see. I'm telling a story to you guys through vision, through my pictures. I'm making you see, hey, this thing has a story. This is interesting. This is the story behind that item. Or behind that or whatever I'm getting a picture of. And that's why I love photography so much because each photo I take isn't just a photo. Each photo I take is a story. There's a story behind everything that I take it of. And no story, no picture is the same, just like no story that I tell with that image is the same. So in a way, I'm kind of glad that I'm being medically forced out of music because I can now pursue what I was truly meant to do, which is photography. And, you know, I always knew I had a natural talent for taking pictures. I knew that. But for me, I never really considered it. And so very recently when I just started going out, grabbed a couple apps and just started taking pictures. And from there, you know, people are, you know, been messaging me over the last few days telling me, you know, you need to seriously consider this. And that's what I've been doing. I've been seriously sitting on it and very much considering it. And considering the circumstances as they are with my music. You know, there's nothing I can really do. Yes, I released a couple tracks, you know, right after everything happened and I was told not to, but those tracks, and they were very much needed. They were to put a hater in their place who has been bugging me for years and just ragging on all my stuff. So I said enough is enough. Time to stand up and do something about it. And I did. But I really feel like doing photography could very well be my true calling. You know, making you guys see the world through my eyes, through my perspective through my perspective I like I really feel like that's what I'm meant to do
And don't get me wrong, I really enjoy all the fans. I enjoy being up on stage. I enjoy, you know, writing a writing a good song and stuff. But like I said, anybody can write a good song. Anybody can write a good song, put it together, and have it sound really good. That's simple. But telling a story through photography, that's something that not very many have the talent to do. Telling a story about something through your photos, that itself is a challenge. And at first, I didn't know what that meant. Because I was always told, you know, like, because I took photography class a little bit in high school. And I was always told, you know, tell a story through your photography. Take a photo and tell a story. And I never really knew what that meant. But now that I'm older, I know exactly what that means. And I'm really trying to do that through every take. I'm trying to tell a story through my perspective. Like, for example, see, you guys, like, with this coffee cup full of coffee right here, which I gotta be careful of, like, you guys see just a simple coffee cup full of coffee. But me, I see something more than just a coffee cup. I see an opportunity. I see a photo. I see a chance to tell a story. I mean, not that there's much of a story to begin with. I mean, there is, but there isn't. It just depends on all how you, it's all on how you look at the world. And that's something I would like to accomplish with my photography is to make you guys see the world through my eyes, how I view the world through my perspective. And would I like to turn it into a job? Yes, I would. And that's why I am starting up a YouTube channel. I do have a new Instagram dedicated strictly to my photography. Um, I will be starting up a Twitter for that as well. I will have a fan page. I'm going to be doing all the social media stuff like usual for my photography. Um, I will be doing a documentary as soon as I can get the right stuff. Because I am ordering some lenses and a tripod soon. And so I'll be able to shoot a documentary. And really show you guys what I do on a day-to-day basis. When I go out and I take these photos. You know, I want to be able to capture that stuff that nobody else sees. You know, I want to be able to go into those abandoned buildings and show people the history and tell a story about that building. Because there's a lot of places around here that I can tell stories about. And that's what I want to do. I want to show the world what's hidden to the rest of the world. I want to show everybody what's hidden and what the world has to offer. And the best way I can do that is through my photography and my videos. And you know, and I do hope that you guys will support me on this 100%, just as you guys supported my music all these years. I was not planning on having a vocal blowout And I was not planning on retiring from music, but at this point, I have no choice. But I do hope that you guys will support me on this and, you know, follow me on this journey to making this a career. Because this is something I've always had a love for doing. 
like whenever we would go on family road trips, I would always be the one taking just the weirdest, just randomest pictures, but they were super cool. Like every picture I've taken, whether it be on a phone, whether it be on the old school Polaroid cameras. And if you guys are from my time, you guys know exactly what I mean with the Polaroid cameras. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about with that. But, you know, I was that kid that was always taking pictures or shooting a video. That was me. You know, and believe it or not, I am behind the camera just as much as I enjoy being on camera and in front of it. I really do. Like, that was me growing up as a kid. I was that kid that was always taking pictures of everything. And I never really saw it as a career. It was just something fun to do. Like, I enjoyed taking the weirdest, oddest pictures. Like, I just, I really enjoyed it. Like, I was that kid that would draw on a car window during a rainy day. And I would take a picture of it. Like, I would sit there, like, in a car ride on a trip. And I would sit there and I would draw on the car window and just do different designs and just take pictures. Like, I was that kid. And, you know, and I really feel like this could be what I'm meant to do. <clears throat> Pardon me. Cause, you know, like I said before, you know, I want to be able to, you know, make you guys see the world through my perspective. I want to tell a story to you guys through my photos. Because like I said before, every photo I take tells a story and no photo is the same and no photo has the same story. They all have different stories. And nobody can ever copy that. Like I can have people copy my music, my art, all that. But to copy an image, to copy a photo, that's something that cannot be done. Duplicating a photo in time that's not physically possible. You can Photoshop it, you can do whatever you want. But in the end, it's not the same thing. Because unless you've actually been there and you really got that picture, then you cannot sit there and say that, that you're a true photographer. Because me, I see the beauty in everything. Like I said, you know, I can take the most ugliest thing, turn it into something beautiful through that photo, and show you guys the beauty in that through that picture. And that's one thing I love about photography is because I can take the most horrific, ugliest, grimiest, dirtiest, nastiest thing, I could turn it into a thing of beauty and I could tell the story about that thing and how it got to where it's at. And that's why I love photography so much because you can tell stories through your photos and you can show the world through your eyes, which is what I love so much about it. And that's why I am chasing it as a career at this point in time. Because for the past few days, the first thing I've done since I've woken up was I grabbed my phone. Well, I woke up, I ate. I wake up, I eat. And then right after that, if there's nothing good on TV, like if, you know, like wrestling or whatever, you know, or like Andy Mac or whatever isn't on, and yes, I do watch that show on Disney Channel. Good ass show. I don't care if it's for kids. It's awesome as fuck. I love that show. And since season one, episode one, I have not missed an episode yet, and I'm not about to start. So what up to all my Andy Mac fans out there? Love you guys. Y'all are awesome. 
And yes, I saw where Jonah and Andy kissed. That was awesome. It's about damn time. I have to admit, it's about time they fucking kissed. Because we all know they like each other. We all know that. But like I was saying, you know, when I'm not watching TV or doing whatever, you know, I'm usually up outside around the house taking pictures, whether it be inside or outside. And, you know, and I have a natural talent for it, and you guys have seen that. And I want to continue to show that to you guys. And, you know, like I said, I do hope that you guys will support me in this journey 110%. Um, I will be sending out invites to my fan page as soon as I get that up and going. And as soon as I get my photography YouTube channel going, I'll send out links to that. And I will be linking my Instagram and my Twitter as soon as I get my Twitter made. I do have Instagram. So you guys will be able to see a lot more of what I'm doing. But with that being said, I'm about to hop off here, chill out, finish working on my YouTube channel and all that crap. And yeah, you guys can you guys can definitely expect a video of my photography literally within like the next few hours. But with that being said, this is your boy Chance. Love you guys, and I'll catch you guys later.